Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by partial fraction. The given question is integral sin x by sin 4x dx. We have a basic formula sin 2x equal to 2 sin x cos x. So we are going to apply this in the denominator. But instead of 2x, we have 4x. So when this 2x become 4x and these 2x will become 2x. So 2 sin 2x into cos 2x. So we are going to apply this in the denominator. So we have integral sin x by 2 sin 2x into cos 2x dx. But once again, for this sign 2x, we are going to apply this formula. So, numerator will be as it is sin x, then 2, when applying formula, 2 sin x cos x and cos 2x dx. Here, we can cancel this sin x and this sin x. We can take 1 by 4 common outside the integration. So 1 by 4 integral dx by remaining is cos x into cos 2x. Now we are going to multiply numerator and denominator by cos x. Multiply both numerator and denominator by cos x. So this will become 1 by 4 integral cos x dx whole divided by already there is a cos x in the denominator. Now this will become cos square x into cos 2x. Now we are going to change denominators in terms of sign so that I can do substitution. So this is 1 by 4 integral cos x dx whole divided by this is 1 minus sin square x into 1 minus 2 sin square x. There is a formula for cos 2x which is 1 minus 2 sin square x. Now let's take t equal to sin x and dt will be cos x dx. So this is 1 by 4 integral dt by 1 minus t square into 1 minus 2t square. Again, for partial fraction, let us take t square equal to u. But we cannot use du because we don't have t term. So, this expression will become 1 by 1 minus u into 1 minus 2u. So, we have two different factors. When we apply partial fraction, it will become a by first factor plus b by second factor. We are going to take LCM. The LCM is 1 minus u into 1 minus 2u. So here a into 1 minus 2u plus b into 1 minus u. Since both the sides we have same denominator, we are going to equate the numerator. So 1 equal to a into 1 minus 2u plus b into 1 minus u. Let's take substitution. Let's take u as 1. So this will become 1 equal to a into 1 minus 2 will be minus 1. So from this the value of a is minus 1. So we got the value of a here. In the same way if I take u as half, then this will become 1 equal to, when I put 1 by 2 here, 2 into gets cancelled, 1 minus 1, 0. Now, so this term is b into 1 minus half is half. So from this, we get the value of b as 2. After getting the value of a and b, we have to substitute in the place where we applied the partial fraction rule. So a by 1 minus u. 
So this will become 1 by 4 is outside integral a value by 1 minus u but we have dt. Similarly again this 1 by 4 because this 1 by 4 common we have to take from both the term integral b by and b by 1 minus 2u and we have dt. Since it is with respect to t we have to replace the u. u is nothing but t square. This is substitution we have taken. So now this is minus 1 by 4 integral dt by 1 minus t square. Similarly we can cancel these two. So we get 1 by 2 integral dt by 1 minus 2t square. Now this 2t square can be written as root 2t whole square. So that it will be easy to apply the formula. So we rewrite the first term again as it is and second term dt by 1 minus root 2t. The square root is only for 2. So root 2t whole square. Then only it is 2t square. Now we are going to apply the formula integral dx by a square minus x square is 1 by 2a log a plus x by a minus x plus c. So for both the term it is the same formula. Here the value of a is 1. So 1 by 2 is this is a. a is 1. Log a plus x 1 plus t by 1 minus t. Then second term 1 by 2 and 1 by 2a. So 1 by 2 a is again 1 log a plus x. x is root 2t because instead of x we have root 2t divided by 1 plus root 2 sorry minus 1 minus root 2t. Then we have plus c. But we notice that there is a coefficient of t which is root 2. So outside we have to divide by it. It means we have to multiply with the denominator. So we have to replace t. Originally our t is sin x. So wherever t is there, we will replace it with sin x. Even here there is a modulus. So this will be minus 1 by 8 log mod 1 plus sin x by 1 minus sin x plus 1 by 4 root 2 log 1 plus root 2 sin x whole divided by 1 minus root 2 sin x. Then we have plus c.